In this video, I'm going to show you how to add the category name of your blog posts over the top of your featured image. So it's going to be like a overlay and it will look something like this. And I got the idea of this from the Digital Photography School website where they've got something similar, but they've got the author name as an overlay on the image. And I'm going to be doing the same thing, but with the category text in Generate Press. So if you're using Generate Press and you want to change where the category name is displayed, then keep watching this tutorial as I'll show you how to do this right now. Hey, this is Steve with Coffee Shop Blogger, helping you build a better website. Before I get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos. And if this video helps, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It really helps with the growth of this channel. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is come to your WordPress dashboard and we need to add a new plugin. So just search for a plugin called Code Snippets. And the plugin you want to add is called Code Snippets by Code Snippets Pro and install and activate that plugin. And then you'll get a new menu item just here. And what you want to do is click on add new snippet. And I'm going to call this category overlay on featured image. And what we need to do is add this small piece of code which I found on the Generate Press forums. And what this does is it basically is taking the category name of the blog post and it's putting it into this, this div and then outputting it just underneath the featured image. So make sure you back up your WordPress website before adding any code or adding any new plugins to your WordPress site, just in case anything goes wrong, you can always go back to your backed up version of WordPress. So once you've added the code and the title, you want to save changes. And then when we come back to the home page and reload the page, you can now see that there's the blog post category underneath this featured image. So we've still got the, the category just down the bottom here. So we will need to hide that. So what we need to do is go to the theme customizer. So go to appearance and open up customize. And what we need to do is edit the layout of the blog posts. So we're going to go to layout and then blog. And then because we're on the archives page, we need to scroll down to where it says display post categories and click on the tick. So it's unticked. And then the blog post category will disappear. And then we've still got the online business category up here, which has been added by the code snippet that we added. So we need to save this, publish these changes. And then when we reload the page, we can see that that's now gone. And I'm going to come back to the customizer and come back to uh, the home settings, the main settings, and then click on additional CSS. And what we're going to do is you can use some CSS code to move this up over the image. So here's the code we need to add. And I'm just going to paste that in here. And you can now see that the category is over the top of the image. And I'm going to customize this a bit further so that it's easier to see. And don't worry about any of the code. You don't need to know anything to do with CSS or this code snippet. I will add that in the description below. So where it says featured image category, I'm going to put some padding and I'm going to put a background color. So we want to type background and then I'm going to just take the color from the Digital Photography School website. And I'm just going to use this eyedropper tool to get the color. And I'm going to paste that in, in here. And I'm going to make the, the font white. So we do that by typing color and then FFF. And we can see that the box here is slightly below the image. So I'm going to move that up slightly. So we want to go to bottom and where it says zero, we want to add in maybe five or six pixels. So now that's 
flush with the bottom of the image. You might find that you, you might need to change this depending on any conflicting code you might have in, on your own blog. Your CSS might be slightly different to what I'm doing here. And so next I'm going to do is add some padding to the background of this. So I'm going to write padding and I'm going to give it five pixels on the top and bottom and 25 pixels on the left and right. And I think I'm going to make the top and bottom padding slightly smaller than that, three above and below. So that's what the final look will look like. You can spruce this up a little bit by changing the amount of space there is at the bottom. So instead of having six pixels, so it's right at the bottom, you might want to add, say, maybe 26, so it moves up slightly. And I also like to do something slightly different to Digital Photography School because I don't like copying designs completely. And it just gives a bit more of a unique design to my blog compared to their blog. And you can always change the color of the background as well so that it matches your brand. So once we've published that, we can then come back over to the site, the live version of the site, and refresh the page. And uh, we can see that the, the category overlay is over the featured image on all of the blog posts. And if you're interested in getting Generate Press and you don't already have it, then head on over to getgp.pro and you're redirected to Generate Press website where you can get 10% off the premium plugin. If you've got any questions, put those in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Cheers guys.